Thanks everyone for your attention. I, I have a pretty short talk today. I just want to talk about an experimental project. I'm Jared. I'm a PhD student at Stanford. I work on, hey, <laughs> how's it going, Daniel? Uh, I work on large-scale distributed systems and homomorphic encryption and machine learning and things like that. So a lot of things around privacy and security of large-scale ML training, um, but also have been in crypto for quite a while and I'm very interested in zero knowledge and the, the ideas that are it. Um, this actually is a bit of a small experimental side project that you might find interesting, um, so I wanted to see if anyone was interested in this. So the basic problem, before I get into it too much, is just um, the fact that if you're trying to kind of, so everyone in this room is probably a bit of an autodidact, perhaps compulsively so, to you know, be far enough down the rabbit hole that you're here. Um, you probably spent a lot of time on the internet kind of teaching yourself things. And I think part of the issue is that there, it's, there's quite a delay between when a topic starts to become relevant and interesting, um, at least to that early adopter set, and when you know, formal course materials start to develop for that topic. And so I think for quite a while, many of us have you know, probably had to teach ourselves things. Um, and then maybe five years from now, there'll be a formal course for it. So as an example, you know, uh, large scale for large scale machine learning, like large language models, there wasn't a course on that until this year, as far as I know, anywhere, um, until at Stanford, um, there's one, but it's been relevant for five years. Um, who knows when there'll be a course on zero knowledge specifically that really gets into um, in depth, you know, and etc. So many examples of this um, that would probably resonate. And so I have this simple website, it's called fathomnetwork.io. Um, you can go, you can try to register. It's a pretty small set right now, a bunch of mostly um, ML and cryptography people from Stanford. And you know, it's a bit of a combination of, you know, crowds basically it's crowdsourcing syllabus creation. And so the idea is if you're you know, a bit of a nerd and you're on the internet reading things, uh, finding papers, finding books, finding YouTube videos that you think are pretty cool, um, then you can use an extension to flag the things that you think are cool. Um, and I'll say here for a second. Yeah, you flag the things that you think are cool, and then you know, if those things kind of get upvoted by others, or for now slightly centralized, if they get selected um, to be part of you know, some weekly digest, um, then you earn attribution, which for now is worthless, but maybe it will be worth something um, in the future. Um, yeah, and so it's kind of a fun way to build community with other people who are autodidactic, um, to perhaps take your own musings and wanderings through the internet and make those useful to other people. And there's really kind of, I guess, three objectives. Um, I say learn to earn, but there's no earning yet, um, you know, full disclosure. Um, and so there's really three purposes, right? The first is to accelerate, and so this is what I was referring to when I said, hey, there's quite a delay between when a topic becomes interesting perhaps to us and when there's formal material for it. So can we kind of speed that loop up, particularly for topics on the cutting edge? Um, you know, the second is, I think generally when it comes to educational resources, there's not a lot of personalization. These things are kind of a bit of a bed of, bed of Christus, Procrustus. And so like a course is designed with one audience in mind. And you know, unfortunately, there are many kind of sub-audiences, right? There's a developer audience, a scientist audience that wants to push the core tech, perhaps an investor audience. There are many sub-audiences that are, for example, interested in zero knowledge for different reasons. Um, how would you, you know, design a course for, for this eclectic set? And then lastly is kind of sharing. Um, you know, part of the idea also is that you know, we all do a lot of work to design. If you've designed a course or something, you know it takes a lot of work. And when we're kind of teaching ourselves, the, the effort that we go through, the things that we watched that turned out to be duds that we spent you know, hours on, um, you know, that knowledge kind of disappears. Um, and so yeah, is there a way we can share that? And so yeah, I thought maybe this would resonate with a few people. Just looking for a couple people to play around with it, um, to you know, find bugs in the, in the, in the, jink, in the janky website. Um, and yeah, see if there's like, if it's kind of a fun community, get a few other nerds, make some friends, and then maybe we'll have some like in-person events as well um, for contributors and some cool people will show up. So yeah, that's the idea. Um, you know, pretty simple mechanics. You know, you just connect to an extension called Pocket, which is a Chrome extension. Um, and then you sync that with your Fathom account. And then if you're reading an article like this one, you can save it. Uh, you know, many people might save the same article. Um, so you get kind of additional attribution if it's valuable, yet, you know, kind of rare. 
Um, so you want to be kind of non-consensus and invaluable. Um, and then, you know, you can earn your attribution and the things kind of sync. Um, and so, yeah, that's how it works. Pretty simple. And you can see the kind of all contributions um, that other people have, have made. Um, and you can upvote them and, and, and benefit from the work of others. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you. I uh, want to keep it short. And yeah, ask any questions. <laughs> All right, any questions or any? Okay, Daniel. Yeah, just you can shout, yeah. Fathomnetwork.io. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for the, that feels like a plugged question, like I planted that. What's the website? How do I sign up? Yeah, go ahead. That's a fantastic question. Yeah, so right now there's a very, very kind of nascent tagging feature. Okay. Um, and you can also delete things and sort things, but there's no kind of foldering structure or anything yet. But I just, and that's actually a good idea. Um, yeah, just, just because the thing that really drew me to this was the idea of um, not wasting time on Yeah. Um, so understanding what that topic is for you, or for other people to look at would be really useful. Yeah, that's a, that's, a great, that's a good idea. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, any other comments, questions? All right, well, thank you for your attention. <laughs>